Season 1, Episode 3. Oh, it's been a long time. Um, You guys will have no idea what I was just going through. I definitely was looking up Criminal Minds on my uh, reactions. And then I realized, I'm like, why can't I find Mindhunters? Wrong show. I've never even seen Criminal Minds before. I don't know where Criminal Minds even came of, like, in my head. But it just all of a sudden got there. So, um... Yeah, hi ho, wind slow. Um, so yes, and here we are with another Mine Hunters. Are you excited? I hope you're excited. This is going to be a full reaction for my second and third tier here on the YouTube platform, as well as my other platform, Patreon. So guys, if you would like to see uh, this reaction in full length, please sign up to one of those platforms and help support the channel today. I'm ready to jump right into this show. The second episode for me was much better than the first episode. The first episode, it was a lot going on. Like, they use big words. And I'm like, oh, pause.com. Who told you I was very, very smart? Um, wrong. <laughs> no, but they were using, like, these big words. And they were talking so fast, like I am right now. And I, it, I enjoyed the episode, but I was completely lost. The second episode, I was really into this killer that was interviewed that I did not even know was a real killer until I actually Googled it. And he's actually a real killer. You guys obviously said so. You guys commented down below. And then I looked, I was reading on him. I was like, oh my God. Like, and he's still alive. Presently. He's 71 years old. I believe that's what I saw. So, um, and the guy actually kind of looks like him too, which is kind of crazy. I'm ready to jump into this episode because I hope that we're going to get more of that killer guy because he's very interesting. And it kind of seems like he... If they're going to do what I think they're going to do, which is kind of like what the Hannibal show did, which was they had a case and they bring the case to the killer and he helps them solve it, I'll be like, oh, another one of these shows. <laughs> but hopefully it'll be very interesting and let's see what I rated. With that being said, uh, let's jump into Mindhunters and find out exactly what Mindhunters has got to give. Park City, Kansas. This guy, we saw him in the last episode. <laughs> Gather me together. <laughs> oh Grab coffee. You want some? I had some on the plane. Thank you. Students are welcome to everything. <laughs> cold season. Sorry, what? I was just saying that it's cold season. How's your family? Since when do you care about any of that? Uh, I'm adopting a facade of caring. Dr. Wendy Carr, my partner, Holden Ford. I've read a lot about you. About me? Your notes. Ah, uh, thank you. You know, when you sent me your notes from the Kemper meetings, I was in a real rut with my new book. How do you think the men you study are similar to Edmund Kemper? Well, first of all, they're all psychopaths. Or these men all have wives, kids, dogs, goldfish, but not because they stopped being psychopaths. Kemper shows a total lack of remorse, a lack of inner emotional structure. I saw this in my notes. It would have been clearer if you'd recorded and transcribed your interviews verbatim, but yeah, it already feels like a clear successor to the mask of sanity. You repeat that, the mask of... So you're saying you don't think this, <laughs> us interviewing these killers is crazy? No. Well... Okay. Actually, this is the only feedback we've gotten so far. Well, these men are just sitting here, locked up to behavioral science, early detection, criminology, you name it. It's going to take a lot of time and energy to expand it into a larger project with a specific questionnaire. Contrast, compare, and, and publish. Publish. Bam. But you can't just circulate your findings within the FBI. We weren't even allowed to send you those notes. Uh -huh. We can't publicize what we're doing in any way. Why not? We'll have students, we have road school full time. We can't just drop everything. Road school? Road school is what gives us the freedom to go out and interview these guys. We can go bit by bit. I didn't realize that this was so informal. We can make it formal. <laughs> we can do that easily. And then a book. Have you shown your Kemper notes to your department head? Teaching police departments, can someone else do that? Anyone can. It's really not that hard. That is not true. Shepard doesn't even want us to talk about this. You really think he's going to say yes to a full-time academic study? I truly imagine what it takes to bludgeon someone to death. The feeling of arousal, the decision to rape the severed head of your victim. You know why it took me nearly a decade to publish my book? 
Because Hello. narcissists don't go to the doctor. You have found a way to study them in near perfect laboratory conditions. Enough time with Holden that I know what it means when he gets that crazy look in his eyes. I'm afraid it's just not feasible within the bureaucracy of the FBI. If you want this to be a legitimate academic study, then you're looking at four, maybe five years. We have an interview with Miller in an hour, and it's a bit of a drive. If the boss won't let you do it, then you should really talk to someone who has the freedom and resources. I think we'll stick with it for now, but it's good to get some encouragement. Even if our hands are tied. What if that? Don't. I'm just saying we can. Holden. Have to shoot the birds in the yard because they might be smuggling in drugs from the outside. Really? Oh, if that's true. A oh. girlfriend told me once. <laughs> Agents, tension for it. Thanks for doing this, Doctor. We realize it's somewhat unorthodox. Unfortunately, Miller says he won't talk to you. It gets like this sometimes. Just needs a cool off period before he can interact with people. Will you be back to Boston another time? Perhaps. Thanks for your time, Doctor. It's the last time we give them advance notice. Do you ever feel like you're on the cusp of something major and it just keeps spinning out in your head? Uh, Car said it could have far-reaching consequences. Why are you up? Did you smoke my pot? Bristol's only an hour or so away, so we don't have to do road school to get to it. The Cincinnati Strangler. What's his name? Posty Olasky Jr. I assume he's in Cincinnati? I like teaching the Midwest cops. Hospitable guys. John Schaefer, he killed at least 30, they think. I was in Florida, though. You know I can't say no to a Florida golf course, Roy. What can I do for you? There's been another one. The same age as Rosemary Gonzalez, only this time she's dead. We're vindicated. What's the matter with you? An old lady was just murdered. Right. <laughs> we can talk to Kemper again. Yay! A bigger dog slit from ear to ear. <sighs> Amen. A sequence killer. A sequence killer. It's what we're calling it when they kill three or more. We brief them with a description. We need to go there and make sure they bring them in. It's what we predicted. Thank you, Holden. I've been listening. Ah. We have what are you waiting for? You got a plane to catch. Thank you. Yes, sir. At the dog. Yeah, a dog like that must have put up a fight, right? Your ensemble had bite marks. Dog's fucking lasagna. Is this his boss? Yeah, one of these new burger joints. Big corporate setup. Like McDonald's? Look at that dog. I don't want to. Someone had a good fucking grip on it. Damn near eviscerated. I don't understand the sexual assault part. Why just groping? Why not rape her? He didn't rape her because he didn't want to. He just wanted to dominate and humiliate her. Posing these women are his mom's age. It's a mom thing. Wait a minute, 40? Did I just hear you correctly? I've been rounding up teenagers. This time wasn't his frenzy. It's not a teenager. This isn't some random freak out. This guy's getting confident. At least late 20s. He still is at home, but maybe he's married. Or separated. Separated. You guys still think he's white, not Latino, black? Shut up. I think blacks, Latinos, might be too respectful of an elderly woman. We are My bed is thanks. poor white trash. Hey, what happened? Did anybody see? You've been drinking. One of these guys that likes talking to cops, you know? We should talk to him. Hi. Mom. Dad. <laughs> you remember me? Yeah, I remember you. Mom! Dad. Colleagues Bill Tension holding Ford. Hello? What do you want? It's Dwight, right? Well, now what has he done? Who the hell have you brought into my home? Might as well be dead for all he cares. Just kill me now because that is what you're doing. Walk up to the freeway, stick my head under a truck, and save myself the misery. <laughs> I think he'd be out of my air by now. Move the fuck on, but no. Maybe we could talk outside, Dwight. Have a smoke. Take him. Nice lady. Horrible. Real maternal. <laughs> you have a lot of friends, Dwight? Do you? Must be tough bringing a girl home with your old lady breathing down your neck like that. I don't have a girlfriend. Good looking guy like you, I don't believe you. <laughs> you trying to suck me off? She got pregnant. Mom decided we were too young to get married. Told her parents. She ratted you out. Got a scrape. Scrape. Abortion. 20. How was she? 20. That doesn't seem too young to me. I'm curious. You were me. Well, I don't know is the answer. Looks like you've been going at your arm pretty good. You getting a scrap? How'd you get those scratches? I get drunk, I don't know. I've never seen alcohol give a guy scratches before. I got them from a piece of wood. It's fine, I'm fine. Let me look at that again, Dwayne. I don't have a dog. She's the one with the dog, not me. Your mom, why don't you tell us right now how you got those scratches so you don't lie to an FBI agent? Is it just you and her in there? Jesse. Who's Jesse? Some guy. Doesn't it get cramped in there? The three of you all together? That kind of weird? Hearing your mom and her boyfriend? No. <sighs> that would drive me crazy. Who just meets a guy, then she moves him right in? You mean you get an abortion with your girl? Do you get a say in her romantic life? Do you get a say in hearing them fuck? I think that would piss me off 
If my mom told me what to do all the time. You let your mom treat you like that. Don't you ever stick up for yourself? I stick up for myself. I'm sorry I didn't hear you doing that. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You ever cuss her out? I give as good as I get. What does that mean? You ever been in a fight? I laid a finger on her. You didn't even raise a hand to her, of course not. You raise a hand to your mom, it all goes to shit, right? You ever lost control? Uh-uh. You'd never hurt your old lady, but... You'd never hurt her because she loves you. Sacramento police have arrested 30-year-old Dwight Taylor in connection with a recent pair of sadistic assaults. Stabbed to death, Laura Conway, 64. The victims live less than a mile apart. <laughs> Listen, everybody in this room remembers when they were a little kid. When they first figured out they wanted to be a cop. This guy right here, he's the modern day Sherlock Holmes. The psychics in California and they all want to be cops. Yeah. Roy, thank you for acknowledging what my partner Bill and I are doing. Venture into the blackest night and shine a light on the darkness. Oh. I'm talking about real darkness. And thanks for the beer. I'll drink yeah. it. If only you could shine a light on the darkness, you could illuminate my keys. Okay, you got us. Yeah, I wanted to hear how you're doing, that's all. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. I just wanted to hear your voice. I'm sorry, Ed. Do you mean that violence in the movies drove you to kill those women? When you stab somebody, they're supposed to fall dead. They go, whoa. When you stab somebody, they lose blood pressure and they leak to death very slowly. Did you get that on tape? Yeah. You know, it all really goes back to my perceived inability to be sexual. I wanted to communicate. Ironically enough, that's why I begin picking people up. We go to a vulnerable place where there aren't people watching, but I say, no, I can't. Gun is in the car, and this craving, awful, raging, eating feeling is inside me. Feel it consuming my insides, this fantastic passion. Fantastic passion. Good phrase, no? Then what happens? It builds the feeling. And at some point, you begin to enjoy the thrill. Person's throat. You need to cut it from ear to ear, otherwise they'll just be in a great deal of pain. That's how I learned the term ear to ear. So there's no pleasure, Ed? Sure there is. I just wanted the exaltation over the party. They were dead and I was alive. That was the pleasure. So how did you feel after your first kills? I liked Mary the best. Now, I was lukewarm on Anita. Well, nothing in particular. It was more that Mary was, was really quite struck by her personality. In her look, times afterward, I visited there to be near her because I loved her and wanted her. Never been much to look at myself, but I've always gone after the pretty girls. Bet you're the same. As I was locked up from age 15 to 21 for the murder of my grandparents, I was very much out of touch with women my own age. Living with people older than I was for so long, I was like an old fogey. Attractive young ladies walked by the car. They vomited right there and then on the police car. Just how I reacted to women. I had no other way. Did you ever talk with anyone about this? About your inclinations? Your mom? Maybe? Everything would have been different. From the moment I woke up in the morning, she was demeaning and belittling. I was her toy all my life. Right up until the moment I cut off her head with a hunting knife. Ed, judge what back. you did with her head. She's laying there reading a paperback many thousands of nights before. Suppose you're gonna want to wait up all night and talk now. And I knew I was gonna kill her. Is it true that you put part of her into the garbage disposal? Her vocal cords. Why? You wanted to destroy me with words, literally, so I shut her up for good. Now everyone knows it was because of what she did to me, because of the way she treated her son. Pizza. You guys just walk into the apartment building. Anyone around? So I'm home. Actually severed head draining about a pint of blood into a duffel bag. Well, go ahead, take another slice. Thank you. <laughs> then comes this picture postcard. A murderous fantasy life. And this. It's a pretty girl, pretty name. Kim or something. Playing God. Exactly. I've never been on a date in my entire life. I've never been on a date with a girl, Mom. And what did she say? Thank God. Can you believe that? What a bitch. Started burying the heads in the backyard. Ace is looking right up at her window while she was at home. Right under her nose, man. Couldn't help myself. I know it's silly, but Mom always liked people to look up to her. Wow. Mom always liked people looking up to her. I still smell like Kemper. 
Or maybe it's just CMF. Yeah, you're gonna make me lose my appetite. You like your mom? Yeah, I liked my mom. But she's not around anymore. You like your wife? Yes, I do. I'm not sure what I'd do without her. How about that girlfriend? Yeah. Sounds like we got it made. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels good that Dwight's off the street. But Kemper has a way of tempering that. There's nothing behind Kemper's eyes. It's like standing near a black hole. He thinks we're his friends. Well, he thinks you're his friend. You know, I've been thinking about our conversation with Dr. Carr. We're good at this shit. Even if it turns my stomach, that it has that much potential to change people's lives. We should invite her down, just for a day, to strategize, pile what we have so far, and create a plan. So if we want to talk to Shepard... So we can be prepared. He hates you already. <laughs> He's beginning to hate you, too. So I have acid. It's kind of prosaic that it's always a mother. More love. You can even call it that. The guys in my high school thought my mom was hot and it always really disgusted me. Went through chemo and nobody made jokes about her anymore and it kind of made me sad. I can't let these guys rub off on me. The way they view sex. And women could impale you with this nail file. <laughs> then I could be part of your case study. And a bit of thinking about some of the things that we're teaching. Mm -hmm. In particular, the list of deviant terminology. Glacio, <gasps> cunnilingus. Oh, okay, what, what exactly is the issue? I really don't know that they are deviant. I think we should alter the curriculum. Just take a look at the list. A bag? That too. And we're keeping gangbang? What's right is right. You sure about this? Yes. Thank you, Marge. For the best. <laughs> I consulted her on a few cases here and there. We go back a few years. Why do you ask? You mean to imply... I enjoy being married. Thank you. I didn't mean just Wendy has something. Not sexual. Maybe a little sexual, but her ideas and her... Energy. You sound like you have a crush on teachers. It's just someone like her embracing this project says something. Old man Tench jumps on board, so what? But the foxy professor. That's not fair. Uh, Dr. Carr. Agent Ford. Welcome to Quantico. Thank you. I'm teaching a class on the intersection of sociopathy and fame. Celebrity becomes the only thing they need to sustain their ego. How do you get to be president of the United States if you're a sociopath? You get to be president of the United States if you're not. Right. Oh, well, 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 well. This episode was really good. I got Kemper, obviously. I love Kemper. Well, so let me not, let me take that back. Cause somebody now is what, oh, he loves Kemper. No, I like the actor who plays him. He's very interesting. Um, and he brings me, he gathers me together. But I was actually really interested in this, almost the whole episode. <laughs> Almost. Now, over the overall, this episode for me was much better than the other previous two, although I really did enjoy the second episode. This episode was, it, it, I liked them solving the case, helping the case, going interviewing one of the guy, uh, the guy who was, I thought it was the other creepy crawl that we saw in the beginning of this episode was the one that's killing all these people. But obviously he's pretty much a big deal because we just get little glimpses of him. This is the second episode. We get a little glimpse of him. I need to know what his deal is, but he definitely is. <laughs> um, but Kemper talking to him. We also, I feel like we're being teased about this other killer. I think like every episode so far, right? I could be wrong. Um, regardless, I would give this episode a 9.5. Not sure if I already said that. This, I really, really did enjoy it. And I'm thinking that as we keep going on and on with this show, that it just is gonna build and build and build. I'm having an issue with the show. The only thing I'm having an issue is my attraction towards Holden. I don't know. I've never seen this actor anywhere else, but I find him so fucking hot. Excuse my language. He is so fine. He is fine. So every time he comes on screen, which is the majority of the show, I'm always like, <laughs> Um, but I want to see what he looks like now or like him in another show. He, it probably is the character that he's playing in this show that I find like very attractive. He's very smart, intelligent. He's always kind of curious to figure out things. Um, and his body yaddy 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 is everything. Oh, he is so fine. Um, but I actually find the older man attractive too. So there's that. But anyways, I'm single. But anyways, I'm trying to think what else. I'm, I, I hope that in other episodes, we're gonna continue going on through each person, each case, um, and fi or, or I should say, finding a, the, the killer and getting them. I hope it's involved in every episode because if it is, this is a perfect show. Like I don't want to just learn about the killer, although it's like um, 
my, whatever it is, Mind Hunter, so it's like kind of gets enough. But I, I would like them to continue doing on what they did in this episode and bring this on throughout the season. I do know that they stopped the season two, I believe you guys said, um, because of the budget, right? Uh, regardless, I'm here for the sh I'm here for the noise. With that being said, if you've seen this reaction, if you realize you are not subscribed, hit subscribe button, so please like and share this content because it is wonders for this channel. And I'll see you all next time on Andres El Rey.